Hello and welcome to this video tutorial brought to you by How To Tutorial Videos. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to upload your website to the web. For I have had many requests on how to do that. Okay, I'm gonna show you how to do that today. Let's get started. Let's go up to Site and then Manage Sites, and then you will click on a site that you were working on. Just click Edit. And if you haven't gone into this window before, it'll probably open up in this. But we're we're gonna go over to the advanced tab. And it'll open as local info. And since you already have a site, it'll already have your site name and local root folder. Because you would set that up when you already have one set up. So I'm gonna go to remote info and you are editing it using FTP. So let me clear this all so I can show you. Now FTP, that is the main how like main uploading source on the internet. Usually used, by, it's usually used by everyone. Now your FTP host, that will will be by, provided by your hoster or your, your FTP or server host. I'm gonna type mine in. Okay. And your host directory. That will be the place on the server where all of your files will be saved. And then your login. That is very important. That is the login into the server that lets you put websites onto your server and the web and the server puts it onto the internet. Put in your login. Well, will be provided by your provider and you can maybe send them an email if they haven't stating what you want your login and password to be. And then your password. Put in my password. And then uh, you have the option to save. And I would do that if you're the only one that uses a computer. If it's maybe a if you're the only one that uses your computer, you mainly just want to click save. But if you're leaving your house or something, you don't want somebody to, or if somebody's coming over to your house, you never want to uncheck save. Because then they could just go on your computer and say, hey, I can mess up this guy's website. And it's just not, you don't want to do that. But if you're the only one using your computer, that's what you will want to do. So I'm going to click save. And then you have to, then you have the ability to test it. I'm going to test it. Connecting to how to tutorial videos. Wait for it to connect. Okay. Adobe Dreamweaver CS3 connected to your web server successfully. Click OK. And there it is connected. Now all of these you have the choice to connect them. But down here, where it says maintain synchronization information, you mainly want to have that checked, but it's your opinion, or your choice. So, automatically upload files on server. I would not want to do that, but it's your choice. It, what it means is, every time you save a file on your computer, it automatically uploads it onto your server, and the server displays that file. And you never really want to do that, because people can access that hack half done file and just look at it and you just don't want them to see your half finished website do you? So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna check that. I'm just gonna click OK. Then click done and there you go, you are connected. And you have the choice to put on a title and the title is that's gonna put in hello and then the star, the asterisk will appear. Click save. Click on Firefox, and it'll display right there. That is your title, and you can set that title for if you want. So I'm click home, home, how to tutorial videos, and then just click off of it, and the asterisk will appear. Just click save. And then to actually upload your website to the internet, you need to select your files and then just click upload. So I only really edited 
index.html but I'm just going to upload everything on there so I'm gonna click on that look all the way down here it's a lot of selecting then there's two different arrows up here a green arrow and a blue arrow the green arrow gets all the files from the gets all the files from the website if you have maybe other people working on your website and I do not since it's only me so I'm gonna click put files and it has to connect to your server first before it puts it up there and I'll say put in independent dependent files the dependent files are the and it says we'll dismiss in 23 seconds that is the time in which you have to choice and in the put uh Dependent files are the is the files that you do not con uh are you, the files that you do not select and since I already selected those on purpose I'm just gonna click no and then this will probably pop up and it is put on there and I have modified it so yes and down here it has not popped up again but down here that's how you can edit yes. And that's how you know if it's w or when it's done. And it, when it was done, it'll stop spinning like that. And it'll say right here, file activity completed. So if that can be done. Let's take it a minute here. Almost done. I've see I've selected a lot of files. Okay, file activity complete. And I'm just going to go up here to the internet. Go to my website. There you go. That is how you upload your that is how you upload your website onto the internet thanks for watching this how-to tutorial video remember to rate comment subscribe okay thanks for watching